Hi, hello students. Welcome to Indian Tech Guru for you. Let us see the next topic in computer architecture and organization. Other decimal codes. Other decimal codes. So, in the previous class, we discussed about the BCD code, ASCII code, EBCDIC code, and Unicode character set. So, in addition to these codes, sometimes the computer may need some additional codes also. Some additional uh, codes such as uh, uh, 2421 code, 84 minus 1, minus, minus 2 minus 1 code, access 3 code, something like that. Okay. So, already we know what is meant by a BCD code. BCD code means it is called as 8421 code. The weights are 8421. Uh, for example, if you consider this number. 0, 1, 1, 1. So, how we are going to get the value of uh, this particular number? 0 into 8 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1. So, 4 plus 2 plus 1, we are going to get the value 7, decimal value 7. So, that is why it is called as 8421 code. Similarly, we can define 2421 2, code also. So, here the weights will be 2421. For example, if you consider uh, this number 1110. So, the value will be 1 into 2 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 0. That is 2 plus 4 plus 2. So, how much, how much it is? Uh, it will be 8. The equivalent decimal number will come. Similarly, the third one is 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1. 8, 4 minus 2 minus 1 code. Okay. For example, if you consider this number, then 1 into 8 plus 0 into 4, 0 plus 1 into minus 2 plus 0 into minus 1, 0. That is 8 minus 2. The decimal value will be 6. And coming to the access 3 code, access 3 code is uh, very easy to define. So, it is generally defined as BCD plus 3, BCD plus 3, okay. What are the value of the BCD? So, we need to add a 3 for the existing BCD value, okay. Uh, for example, if we, if we uh, need to represent uh, the value, decimal value 2, then 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 will be 5. The equivalent decimal, the equivalent binary number, binary code for uh, 5 is uh, 0101. Like this, for each and every digit, uh, we need to add uh, a 3. So, that is why it is called as access 3. For example, uh, if we want to represent 6, uh, then uh, we are going to represent using 6 plus 3, 9. The equivalent value will be 9. If you want to represent 9, we are going to represent 9 plus 3. The equivalent will be 12. 1, 2, 4, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. Like this, we are going to represent uh, the access 3 code. That is why access 3 code is generally called as BCD plus 3 code. BCD plus 3 code. In addition to these codes, uh, another important code we generally use, the computers generally use uh, is uh, gray code. Is gray code. Okay. So, it is somewhat tricky compared to the other codes. So, in case of the gray code, uh, you may observe that uh, the change between any, any of the two codes, the change between any of the two codes, so, will be, there will be only one bit change. There will be only one bit change. Okay. So, for example, if you consider the binary code here, if you consider uh, this particular, these two codes, so 0, 0, same, 1, 1, same, 0 has become 1, 1 has become 0. Two changes are there. Two changes are there from the, uh, from one number to another number that is two consecutive numbers two consecutive binary numbers whereas in case of the gray code uh, for any of the two consecutive numbers there will be only one bit change one bit change for example if you consider these two zero zero same one one same one zero one one same only one change is there you consider any of the other gray codes also there will be only one change uh, for example if you consider these two 1 1 same, 1 1 same, 1 1 same, 1 2 0. 
So like this, uh, uh, the gray code exists. That is why it is useful in some of the applications uh, where there must be only one bit change in case of the consecutive consecutive numbers. Okay, consecutive binary numbers. So, however, uh, we need to find out how to generate this particular gray code. So, we know that uh, the numbers, uh, initially we know that the binary numbers are 0 as well as 1, 0 as well as 1. So, to generate a 2-bit gray code, a 2-bit gray code, then what we need to do is, uh, we need to consider the reverse of uh, 0 and 1, that is 1, 0, okay. So, now 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to embed uh, zeros uh, in the most significant bit uh, for the original numbers and ones uh, for the most significant bit for the reverse numbers, okay. These two are the original numbers, 0 and 1. These two are the reverse numbers. Embed zeros to the original numbers, embed ones to the reverse numbers. Then we get a 2-bit gray code, 2-bit gray code. So, what is the 2-bit gray code? 2-bit gray code is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, using this 2-bit gray code, we can generate the 3-bit gray code. 3 bit gray code. How 3 bit gray code is generated? This is the original 2 bit gray code. Now consider the reverse of this uh, 2 bit, uh, 3 bit gray code 10, 11, 0, 1, 0, 0. Reverse means consider from bottom to top 10, 0, 11, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now just embed zeros for the original 2 bit gray code and ones for the reversed. 2 bit gray code. Then we are going to get 3 bit gray code. This is the 3 bit gray code. Okay. So, from 3 bit gray code to if you want to generate a 4 bit gray code, the same principle applies. The same principle applies. What is that principle? This is the 3 bit gray code. Now, consider the reverse order 100, 101, 111, 110, 010, 011. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, what you, what you need to do? Embed zeros for the original 3-bit gray code and embed ones for the reverse order 3-bit gray code. Then, we will get a 4-bit gray code, 4-bit gray code. The same formula applies for 5-bit gray code, 6-bit gray code, any n-bit gray code. Now, you can see that whatever the gray code we generated is equal to the gray code which is already present in this table. Like this, we are going to generate uh, the, gray, the gray code for uh, 4 bit, 4 bits. So, this is the binary code, this is the gray code. So, in some of the applications, uh, the gray code is uh, used uh, uh, wherever uh, there is, uh, wherever there is a difference in only one digit, difference in only one digit between the consecutive integers, between the consecutive integers. You can observe here, in case of the gray code, uh, if you consider any two consecutive numbers, there is only one bit change in any of the two consecutive integers. So, these are the other codes, other binary codes uh, we will be using uh, in computer organization. Hope you understand the concept. That is all for now.